I'm Pete Bennett, and you're watching Big Bennett TV. What's up, guys? It's a chilly one out here today, and uh, we got all set up. And uh, as you can see here, we got the extension cord and the grinder, all this. Vehicle's up on ramps. What we're doing today is we're still taking a little break from the uh, the RSX project, and we're gonna do some uh, some exhaust repair today. Now, uh, this this exhaust has a has a flange issue. It's got some uh, some holes in the flange. I'll show you guys real quick. So we're rolling under the car here, and uh, right here, that's a hole. So. Uh, that's gonna get fixed. I mean, apart from everything else, it's it's all pretty good. So that's gonna get fixed, and uh, we're gonna show you what it's like before ugh, and what it's like after. And uh, it's gonna get plugged with a. Uh, I'm assuming this piece of metal. Whoa! Ah, it's still hot. Exhaust. Yeah. So Austin, do you want to? Uh, Austin's going to be welding today on the uh, Chicago Electric. He's uh, very good with flux core, knows what he's doing, and he's repaired a number of exhausts. Uh, what will you be doing today with his exhaust? Like, what's the the uh, game plan? I got a little piece of uh, mild steel here that I cut with the zip cut. Okay. <laughs> About an inch long. I'm going to put it on there like a band aid and weld it on. Now we'll stop the fumes from escaping and going into my car. Okay. It'll sound nicer too. He's gonna start the car up and you guys are gonna hear. Hear the kitten purr. You're gonna hear the kitten purr. Drop my wallet. Good fusion. You want bare metal. You don't be welding rust. You can't weld duct shit. Really? Have you ever tried welding rust? Yeah, it don't work out too good. Okay. So, do you have experience with uh, grinders and stuff? Yeah, I'm actually uh, Walter certified. I have a certification in there. I'm From good. Walter. From Walter, yeah. Okay. I took a two and a half hour grinding course on how to properly use uh, a grinder. Wow. Number one is a mistake that everybody makes. You take the safety off. That guard right there, that's a guard to protect you. Perfect. Well, I'll let uh, Austin grind this down and uh, we'll see. Always we'll have your safety glasses on, folks, no matter what you're doing. You know how they get metal out of your eyes? How? With a magnet. Oh, really? And you could probably lose some vision, I think. So uh, You yeah. can hear the sound of Austin's people. Other people need their exhaust fixed. Or they need everything torn out of their exhaust for a low price of $100. Yeah, we're taking this uh, semi-automatic. Uh, what are you doing? I'm taking the tape off. What's that tape covering? The, the trigger, because as soon as you put power to it, it just goes. <laughs> All right. I wonder who did that. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I feel like I used this grinder before, though. Really? <laughs> oh, my. Austin used to use a grinder just like this back when he used to work at uh, Woodman's. Woodman's. Oh, also, check this out. Yeah, that's from Austin. Well, we're gonna say it's from Austin. He drove right off the ramps and then into the car. But that's that's a story for another day. That's old news. That's old news or fake news. <laughs> and then Austin hit a wood pile back here. Yeah, he backed up into a wood pile. So that's all dented. If, if you're wondering, 
But I mean, other than that, it's in real good shape, real clean. It's a good car. It's only got 80,000. Is it 80,000 it has on it, Austin? 180,000. 180,000 kilometers. 05 Chevy Malibu LT. Perfect. All right. Hood's popped up. Austin disconnect. Oh, Austin. Yo. You disconnected both cables. I did because I just went the extra mile above and beyond. Austin said he's he just wants to break the circuit because uh, what can happen if you weld with your battery connected? Well, you're putting electricity into somewhere and it can fry all your circuitry. So you can find fry like your megabytes, kilobytes. Yeah, and your databytes. All that stuff. You don't want any bytes getting broken. Austin's got a welding helmet on. He's got uh, his hat on because the hat makes it so that you don't uh, get sparks in your hair and stuff. What are you looking for, Austin? Plenty of cable. Yeah, for thinner metal, you always want a lower heat. Really? Lower heat, yeah. You get too hot, you just burn through. Okay. Two. Just playing around with the settings, trying to get a good... Uh, yeah, what do you recommend for like a, a, a wire burn? A wire burn? Yeah, well, like... Every, uh, every machine is different. So the uh, 90 amp flux core Chicago electric welder, I'd have it running at about uh, 200 amps for this kind of stuff. The bigger the metal, the more amps. Connected good there, eh? Oh, did your band-aid fall off? Yeah. Huh. Well, that band-aid's on there tight. Not really. Oh. Pretty loose. <laughs> See? Okay. I guess give it a couple more gustos. It looks pretty good though. One thing about this is it doesn't have to look pretty because no one's coming on here to look at it and say that it's pretty or not. As long huh? as it holds. Okay. Yeah, we just had our first little scare. Yeah, you get a piece of molten metal in your earlobe. Yeah, I also got freaking slag in his ear. You hear the earwax boiling. So now he's taping up his ear. But yeah, he got the, he got, he's running out of wire. Pretty, look, look pretty at the, quick. Look at that. You probably put about, how many pounds on your exhaust? 335 pounds. Awesome getting right in there with that band-aid. Yeah, also I wanted to show you, Austin, Austin did all the welding on his rocker panels, too. I mean, this was a couple years back, but for a year's worth of, like, work, it actually looks really good. Yeah, it's getting a little dark, but... I think I'm getting hypothermic down here. I better get closer to the heat of the weld. It's getting a little dark, but uh, we got a new fresh roll, and uh, this is Austin's Band-Aid he did. Yeah, I just put two little pieces of... He just did this, uh, what's it called? Band-Aid? Yeah, a little patch Band-Aid job. Just a quick fix. 
quick fix and uh... I blew a hole because I ran over something. I don't know. And I guess now he's doing the uh... Patch job right now. Wow, does it sound any better, Aust? I'm gonna have to start it up and see, but I got most of the hole covered. I kind of want to check if there's any other little nooks and crannies that might be leaking. Yeah, because Austin did uh, did get some of the exhaust tape, and did that work good, Aust? Well, I haven't applied it yet. Wow, Aust. I could look at those welds all day. Oh, you just bubble gum them on when you have to. As long as it's solid and there's no gas comes out, we're good. But I got some all right beads for a little Chicago electric flux core welder. That's awesome. It's like 90 bucks. Can't go wrong. That's awesome. This is what Aust got here. It's a VersaCheam muffler and tailpipe bandage. It's by Spider Patch. So I wasn't just getting up now. He's going to, uh, are you gonna start it up and test it out, Aust? Give it the old one, two test? Yep, as soon as I, uh, But no, I gotta dig this out. This thing is like literally, look at how bad this is. You can't even see it anymore. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna dig that out. And uh, Haas, said, Haas said that his car can pull it out, so we'll pull that out. Chevy, the, uh... Chevy Malibu. Right now he's just connecting the battery back. He's gonna fire it up and uh, we'll hear we'll hear this kitten purr. Right, Oz? This is the first start. Give her a couple revs, Oz. We wanna hear this thing purr. Wow. That sounds that sounds way better than it did before, eh? Wow. You actually did a good job, Oz gonna take the visual look yeah see, whoa yeah. see see if there's any blow by or anything eh jeez visually it looks good right it does perfect well Let's uh. Job well done. Let's uh get this Mazda pulled out, Aust. Do her. Hook her up to a tow hitch. All right. You want to put the hood down for me? Yeah. Austin's gonna drive it down, and we'll get a sound clip. Wow, that thing is quiet, eh? Look at that, just peeling off like it's his day job. This is the setup here, guys. Mickey Mouse ramps, Lux Core Welder, all the goodies. And uh, I'm dreading pulling this thing out. <sighs> Great, he's coming around the corner now. You hear that? Because I don't. That's a quiet car right there. Look at that. It stops on a dime. That's awesome, Oss.
Not sure where he's going now, but. There we go, slowly getting by the car. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna have to find a lid for that gas cap. Whew. All right, got the shovel, I'm digging. Is there like an outflow of water? All right guys, going? we got most of this dug out. I popped the hood and uh, we ain't gonna be able to take this out. Aust, why aren't we gonna be able to take this out? There was a flash freeze and it just fucking froze there like North Pole. Yeah, and all the like rad hoses and everything is is pretty much below ice right now. So even if we wanted to pull it out, we couldn't because this car would essentially be no good once we pull it out. We're gonna have to wait for the weather, Mother Nature to clean her up. Yep. Bye. So sorry about that one guys, but uh, we're gonna have to do something else. I don't know what though. What are we gonna have to do, Aust? We're gonna have to light it on fire to melt the ice. I think we'll just wait for like a nice a warmer day when it starts to warm up, maybe like a week or two. Two, three weeks. Yeah. Let's get in a snowstorm here soon. Yeah, there's, there's other fish to fry, I guess, but for now, this thing is just costing costing me money to, to be here because even if somebody likes this and wants it or anything there's just a fucking layer of ice i can't i honestly i can't even get the door open because the ice is actually in the door so screw that we'll just we'll just do something else all right guys so it's the next day and uh, it's like, you wouldn't believe that it's the next day. Check this out. It's raining out. I put the trash, yeah, I put the trash out. That, we were gonna repair it, but we're not repairing that. That's the old fender. We're actually going out now. Yeah, and then I got that. We're actually going out now to get the new fender. So, that's something else we're gonna do. And also look, this beast here, it's still frozen in the ice. It's still gonna be a little while before before we get that out. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna get that uh, get that fender all the way in Bucktooth, which if you don't know what Bucktooth is, is about, uh, it's about, I'd say about five hours, because no junkyard around here has that fender. So we're gonna go and get it. Yeah, if you guys are wondering what the uh, Canada driving scenery is like, this is what it's like. It's, <clears throat> Whoops. It's uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty uh, normal. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, unless you live like in the Bahamas or anything like that. So we're gonna keep going. So basically, what I'm gonna do is show you guys PJ's fender. There it is. Just minor damage, but at least it came with a screw. A couple of bolts. Same color though. And it is what it is. He's just in the, the old shop to get some gas. This is where his girlfriend sits. So we just just gassed up, the fender's good, I got the polar pop, and uh, we're heading back home because we need to do that. We, we got a beautiful fender, no dents, and it, we probably got lost, uh, I'd say a minimum of three times. I never knew it, but uh, there's the guy that gave me the street, there's two of the same street names in a 20 kilometer radius. So we went to the first address and uh, it skipped the number house that he gave me so I thought something was up and then I re-put it in my Google and then we went there to the second address that was 20 kilometers away and uh, got that done. So we've been driving around, it's been a lot more than I expected. 
Car parts aren't easy to find when you're in the middle of fucking nowhere, boys, I tell you. Yeah, we're, we're out here. We're out. I mean, do, do Americans even know where New Brunswick is? Because you could literally spit to New York City from here, but you don't really know about us, do you? It's quite a ways. Yeah. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. It was it's pretty much all over the place, but that's what you guys like. I gotta get started on... Uh, fixing that RSX up. It's got to get out. It's getting for the nice warm weather and I want to be cruising that nice RSX. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.